Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. My mic probably sounds different. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to download mods on Terraria, like my latest U YouTube video. With T-Mod Loader. Now, you can get T-Mod Loader in 64-bit, and I'm going to be telling you how to do this today. Trust me, you're going to want it in 64-bit. The normal one is in Steam and is 32-bit now. You may be thinking, Jet, what's the difference between these two? <clears throat> the difference is 32-bit can only use up to 4 gigs of RAM, limiting the amount of mods you can get, and sometimes it crashes with losing your save. And as you can see, I've got a little bit of hours. This is actually pretty sad. Um, my Terraria hours are pretty low, because, well, I've been playing a lot of other games on this YouTube channel, as you can see. So... Um, I'm gonna show you everything today, so now, um, we're gonna go to my browser, we're gonna search up Tmod Loader, now I already have Tmod Loader, Tmod Loader, and it is right here, all these links are gonna be in the description, you can get all these mods, now I'm probably gonna make a video on the top 10 best mods to get, and uh, yeah. So here you're going to install it. Now I already have it. It's free, but you're going to need Terraria. Um, in Terraria, you can just search it up on Steam. Go to store. Search the store. And then as you can see, it's 9.99. And then let's go back to our library. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to install this. And once you've installed it, you're going to... I'm going to leave this link, but I just searched up 64-bit T-Mod Loader, and it's the first thing that came up. And the forums are under maintenance, but luckily I've already downloaded this. Um, okay, okay. It's on Mega. <laughs> um, I have the link to it right here. Basically... Uh, what I understand through this, the Vulcan pack is like for weaker PCs, this is for good, better PCs. You're gonna download this. Once you've downloaded it, save it. I'm naming it like this because uh, I've already done this. You're gonna go to your folder and you're gonna, um, gonna select everything in here. Now before we do that, before we do that, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to properties and we're gonna go to local files. We're going to hit Browse. Now, all my stuff in here is already done. But basically, what you're going to do, <coughs> in this file, you're going to select everything. You select like this or hit Control-A. You're going to cut. And then, you would paste. I'm in the wrong folder. Um, <laughs> select everything. I, I meant to cut. Cut. And up here in Tmod Loader. Paste. And then it's going to prompt you to replace a couple files. Hit yes. Now, I'm not going to do this because, uh, you know, you know. I've already got all the files done. But once you've done this, y you can just like right click that and open it. Hold on. You can open it and it will prompt this right here and it'll start saying uh it will start by saying let me scroll up. It'll say starting all that and, I look, and then you're going to you're going to go here. You're going to now, it, it's way easier to launch it through Steam, like I've made it, right here. 
Add a game. Adding on Steam game. Browse. Tmod loader 64 bit. You're gonna hit open, and then uh, you're gonna hit add selected programs, and then it's gonna have this. You can open it up, and here you go. Tmod loader now. And normally it will say total available memory four gigs because that's 32 bit, but since my computer runs with 32 gigs of memory, uh, it basically lets me have 32 gigs of memory. Now all of these mods here are very good mods, and they're all probably going to be in my um, next video, which I hope you guys watch. And, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to subscribe. This is a shorter video that doesn't really require as much effort. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you guys just look like looking at my OBS screen or something. You probably clicked off the video by now, but, uh, uh, bye.